Okay, boys and girls, we are going to do a zebra. We've been doing animal art in class, and the zebras are known for their stripes. So that's going to be the pattern that I'm going to show you how to do. Um, the first uh, shape that we're going to be drawing is the head. The head is round at the top, but it kind of tapers in this way to make a thinner round at the bottom for the snout of the zebra. So it's thicker at the top than it is at the bottom. Down at the bottom is going to be the nose, but since we are doing white on black, normally the zebra nose is black, but we're going to be making a white nose. So you're going to make a curve, and then the nostrils are towards the outside of the nose, so we're going to be doing an oval on this side, and an oval on this side. And then using your white colored pencil, we are going to color in all of the space in between and around those nostrils. Um, just like when we outline a shape and color it in, it's the same thing when we do the negative space or the outside of a shape. So I'm going to outline the shape, and then I'm going to outline the outer part of the nose here, and then color the space that is inside. This time, instead of removing all the white, we're going to be removing all the black paper that's behind it. Again, I outline that line and then fill it in. All right, zebras kind of have round ears at the top, so on each corner, you're going to come out and make kind of like an oval shape. And then you're going to do another oval inside of that like the inside of the ear and this time we're going to color the outside of the ear. Zebras tend to have white fur on their ears, some black too, but the inside of their ears is black. Color in this side. Feel free to pause the video as needed if I'm going too fast. Just hit the pause, move to the next step, and then start over. Um, if you want to make it look more realistic, you can kind of make little furry lines that kind of go in, so it looks like hair around the ears. Colored pencils are great tools to use for um, texture in animals like hair or feathers. All right, now for the eyes. The eyes are around the outer part, so we kind of do like an oval this way and an oval that way. There's many ways that you can finish off those eyes. They're actually normally black, um, but what I'm going to do is add an eyelid. I'm going to make some eyelashes on that eyelid. And then I'm going to draw a circle inside, or a half circle. And then I'm going to color in the white part of the eye between the eyelash and the black. So I do like a half circle, and then color in the white part of the eye. And then if you want to, you can make like a little circle to make it look shiny like they're wet. All right, and then the fun part is the stripes. So the first thing you want to do is kind of make like a triangle shape that's thicker up at the top and then thinner at the bottom. And then you're going to make one next to it that's shorter and then another one next to it that's even shorter. And then do the same on the opposite side. I'm going to color in those stripies. Now in the zebra, those lines tend to be really long and they reach all the way down the nose. So now I'm going to draw a thin line down and then this one's going to kind of come down. And then this one's also going to kind of come down. Now we're going to do the ones on the sides. So starting at the bottom, you're going to do a thin line, kind of like a, a squiggly triangle. I can actually fit four on that side. Um, if you have a longer zebra head, then you can fit more lines. Or if you have a shorter zebra, then you can fit um, less lines. And we'll color those in. Okay. 
And then those actually kind of curve in and connect to the line that's ne next to it. So we're going to curve those in like this. a little bit more like a zebra and this space here I kind of want to fill in that space too so I'm actually going to do another line this way oh I'm running out so I'm going to have to get myself a new pencil I happen to have open space here from those eyes so that's why I'm doing that all right now we're ready for the side so we're doing a profile. So the side of the body is coming off this way or the neck. So where the ear is, you're going to do a diagonal line. And where the nose is, you're going to do a diagonal line. <coughs> um, horses have really long flowy hair and zebras have short hair. And so their short hair just kind of looks like a little tuft. Okay, and then that tuft will come all the way down side of the neck here, like this, fill that in. The more lines you have, the more like real hair it appears. And the last part now is the stripies. So when I do the stripes, I do a long line this way, and then a long line up, or try kind of like a triangle. I'm going to do a long triangle this way. And a long triangle this way. And notice I'm kind of curving them a little bit um, because the neck of a zebra is actually curvy. So then that one comes here, and then that one kind of comes off the side. And then we will color that in. Like I said, you want to do your best to color in those lines so that we don't see any of the black space in there. So we're kind of doing like a contrast. We're doing the opposite of what a real zebra would look like. We would, on white paper, we would make this with black. And there we go. There's our zebra. Um, for the kindergartners, I'm having them practice their spelling. Anyone can, you know, the more we spell, the better we get at it. So at the bottom, we can do Z, E, B, R, A. And then, of course, write your name. Sign that wherever you would like.